Welcome, welcome! It's my dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. And today we're going to talk about how to make money mining and refining in 312. Uh, so this was my first little mining excursion in 312 with the updated mining uh, UI and getting to see all the cool goodness of it. And it was also my first time refining. So as with previous guides that I've done on mining, it pays to be picky. Make sure you're picky on what you're mining. Now, I will say that you can make more money on some of the stuff that wasn't as lucrative previously once you refine it, uh, which you'll actually see a little bit of from this video. Now, I would definitely suggest that uh, you, you be more picky than what I was in the video because I just wanted to get uh, one trip under my belt to see how lucrative some of these other things could be compared to the high-end stuff. Uh, it was kind of a test for me just to just to see the difference in pricing, uh, both you know refined and unrefined, and uh, but between the lower metals and the higher metals, uh, you know you've got your corundium, which corundium, however you say that, <laughs> which is a very common. Uh, mineral that you'll find out here or that you'll you'll be able to extract from asteroids and then you've got berets and bexalite which are way less common uh, so I wanted to kind of see you know the differences between the lower range and the upper range so that's what I was looking at in this particular video so again be pickier than what I was in the video and definitely um, choose the higher end stuff if you want to make more money this whole mining procedure, the mining part of it, uh, took about an hour or so to do. Uh, you know, I was trying to find rocks that would have maybe a mixture of a high end and low end uh, so that I could get that difference in uh, cost. So, yeah, it took me a little while to find the ones that I was, you know, really wanting to look for and, and, and get. And then I was able to start mining. And, of course, you have to get several rocks in order to uh, you know mostly fill up your cargo and i'm in a mole so it's going to take a little longer in a mole than it would in a prospector uh, i definitely have a helix laser on this i've got it on all three of my mole mining heads and uh, i also have it on my prospector as well you definitely want to get the helix as soon as possible because it makes life a lot easier when you are mining these big rocks and the harder rocks, the, the, the harder the rock is, uh, the harder it is to mine, obviously. So you want that helix laser to be able to, to, be able to mine a lot of those. Uh, so the whole mining procedure is just like it was in previous patches, but if you've never mined before, uh, you want to scan for these uh, rocks uh, to locate them by pressing tab. Uh, and then uh, I have mine set for the trigger. Uh, to scan, uh, you may have to go and check your keybinds on that, uh, but that's what mine's set for right now. And once you find a rock, you're going to approach it, and then you are going to hold the secondary trigger to scan it more, uh, you know, directly, and it'll tell you what the rock rock consists of. And then, of course, you're going to want to switch to your mining laser and start extracting. Now. You can increase the power of the mining laser uh, to, uh, you know, increase the energy output uh, that you'll put into the rock itself to crack it up. Uh, as you can see, I am doing that. You can see it on the right side here. Uh, well, the left side shows the laser intensity and the right side shows the amount of energy going into it. So as I increased my laser energy, obviously, the rock has more energy in it and you want to be in that green zone if you get in the red zone the rock could explode and that will send your ship cartwheeling through space uh, so you want to stay in that green zone until that green bar gets completely full just to the left of the uh the the uh level there so once it cracks up you probably are going to have to crack the rock a couple of times, maybe two or three times. Once you see the purple outline around the rock, like you see here, so this one's orange, the previous one was purple. If it's orange, it still needs to be cracked again. 
if it's purple, it's ready for extraction. Uh, you probably don't want to extract uh, too many rocks that have a lot of inert material. Inert material is not going to pay you anything. Uh, so you definitely want to choose the ones that have a predominant amount of the material you're looking for. Uh, if it's a really high-end uh, ore, then you can afford to take a little more inert material. But you, you really want to try to keep the inert material to a minimum. Uh, but once it's ready for extraction, you'll switch to the extraction laser. Again, you'll have to check your keybinds on that and just trigger it up and it'll start extracting. And once it's done extracting, it'll cut off the laser and you can move on to the next rock. Uh, so it's quite a simple process when it's all said and done. You just have to practice a little bit with it to learn all the different steps and you really need to know the keybinds. Uh, so I would definitely check your keybinds early uh, if you need to rebind anything, do that in the settings before you head out on your mining expedition. So once you've mined all the rocks that you want to get, you're going to want to fly out to a an L1 station. So I chose Crew L1. Uh, this is a refining station. Uh, you don't have to do this. You could sell a lot of the ore uh, raw. You're just not going to get as much for it. So uh, keep that in mind as well. Uh, that's why I wanted to go to the refining station because I want to see how much more refining will yield me than, you know, just the raw ore. I can tell you the raw ore wasn't going to get me a very much money uh, because I just did not have a lot of the high-end goods. It was all the low-end stuff for the most part, low and mid, and it just doesn't pay out that much. <clears throat> so once we get into the refinery deck, you're going to walk your way all the way over here to the service section don't turn right here you don't need to go in there if you're just refining ore you're going to go up these stairs and then there's going to be a refining uh, console to the right there uh, where it says refinement processes you'll click on that uh, then it'll give you the option to begin and it'll show you a, kind of like a manifest of you know what they do well and you can select your ship and all the stuff that you have in it that you can mine or mine uh, refine. Uh, so what you'll need to do after that is select a refinement process. And there's quite a few to choose from. It all just depends on if you're willing to spend much money or much time. Uh, there is the very, very slow one that doesn't cost much, but has a good yield. So I chose to do that one uh, just because, you know, hey, I want the most bang for the buck, right? So after you get it all set up on which refinement process you want, you're going to hit these little switches to decide to actually refine the material. Um, once you have it all set up, you can begin uh, by setting the job. Uh, it'll tell you how long it'll take. In my case, it's going to take one day and like 20 hours. So it was going to take a really long time. Uh, so after <laughs> you have successfully refined the material, you want to come back and you'll select a ship for it to go in. And in my case, I selected the Freelancer because I had no problem being able to put it in a Freelancer. I wasn't going to put it in a Caterpillar, just I didn't have enough uh, to do it. I only had like 4,400 units. So that, that equals almost the full capacity of a Freelancer. Uh, so after I get in my Freelancer, the next step for me was to take it to someplace to sell. I wasn't going to sell it here at the Crew L1 because you weren't going to get very much for it. You really want to take it to one of the main landing zones. Um, I like to take it to Lorville and to the business district. Some other folks are you know, going to take it to Microtech or Grimhex or Port Alisar or Area 18. Uh, I just prefer going to Lorville. Uh, there seems to be a lot more going on around Hurston. Uh, so I, I just, you know, I go there because I can string other missions into it afterwards. Uh, Plus, I'm really familiar with the business district from doing so many cargo runs in the past. So let's head on over to Lorville and let's see what we're going to make off of this load of ore. I do want to thank everybody for tuning in and watching this video. Uh, I appreciate it so much. I'm going to try to get back to doing a video a day, but uh, it's been quite difficult to do this year because of time constraints. Uh, so please uh, bear with me. And uh, please forgive me for not getting them out as prolifically as I have before. Uh, I do have a YouTube members and 
a Patreon page. If you guys could possibly go over there and, you know, if you want to support the channel, that's one of the best ways to do it. Uh, and I certainly do appreciate all the support you guys give. You guys have saved my life more than once in the past, and thank you so much for that. Uh, that'll be listed in the description of this video as well as my org information and some of the other people in my org who also have presence on Twitch and YouTube. So definitely check them out. So once we get to Lorville, we're gonna take the tram over to the Central Business District. And once we get up to the Central Business District, we're gonna, we're gonna sell our refined ore. But how much are we gonna get for it? That's the question. And each one will bring in a different amount, but I can tell you on this freelancer load of ore, I'm going to make about mm, 60,000 credits. So was it worth it for an hour worth of mining and over almost two days worth of refining? I'll let you be the judge of that. Uh, but, you know, it, it's fun, it's peaceful, it's not too bad of a gig if you really want to, you know, do it very often. Uh, I mean, I'm... I'm more particular to cargo running than mining, but mining has definitely major bonuses over cargo running right now, and that 30Ks uh, will screw your cargo running up forever. But thanks once again for tuning in and watching the video. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy, and I'll see you out in the verse.